Since our nation's founding, courageous Americans have answered the call to serve from all across this land. Oceanside, California. Arlington, Virginia. St. Louis, Missouri. New York, New York. San Antonio, Texas. Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha! These young men, symbols of the great American tapestry, honor a deep love of country rooted in family. We just raised these children to be as patriotic as they could be. Raise our kids to be proud to be an American. We are from Nigeria. Samoan, Lebanese. A cop and a nurse from New York. We've lived in Hawaii our whole lives. But you gotta just remember we're all American. They come from diverse backgrounds. The thread of service binding them, bringing them together in one of America's grandest spectacles. When you go to the Army-Navy game, you know that's what's right about America today. And this Army Navy game is very, very important. Wonderful excitement. Marching out and just perfect lines. There's planes flying over. They're coming down in parachutes. The shivers, the hair raising. You know, I, I had goosebumps. It's like going to the biggest parade of patriotism you've ever been in your the life. The kids will play their hearts out on the field, both sides of the ball. It's enough to just take your breath away. For more than a century, tradition demands that they battle each other on the gridiron. In a time of conflict, they will stand side by side on the battlefield forging American history. We have to fight for this country. To serve for things that are worthwhile, there's going to be a price. It's not long before they leave West Point and deploy. What the world is going to give him, I just don't know. It's tough, but of course you're proud. It's different now because it's my son. I think about what's going on in the world, what my son's going to eventually get into. Remember them. That's your army. That is your navy. Remember their names. Remember their faces. Our son, Ross Pospichel, United States Naval Academy. Kusli Ehu, Army Football Team. John Dow, United States Naval Academy. Anis Mahmoud Merzi, West Point. Aaron Santiago, United States Naval Academy. Andrew Rodriguez, U.S. Army. Look at these kids as future leaders of our country. That's what's important about this game. More than a game, this is a rivalry of honor, victory hailed by one brotherhood at the expense of the other. The Army and Navy work so well together, except on this one day. For one day, they're at war with each other, just for one day. We have the good guys playing the good guys. Oh, John Dowd, I am so proud of you. We are part of you, Kingston. We want you to go and beat Navy. Go Navy. Let's go, Aaron. Go get him, baby. All right, Aaron. Fire up. Fire up. Ross, we need you to win the big game. Come on, Anise, baby. Let's do Don't it. That Come on, John Dowd. Go Army, Army beat, beat Navy. Navy. Go Navy, beat Army. These young men share many traits, the goal of winning a game, the mission to defend our ideals of justice and freedom, and of being true American heroes. These are our children. Take a look at those boys. That's our future. Showtime. Let's get it on.